To death, my lord. But why aren't you working? I haven't any work to do. Now, how's that? I, I've done the silver. I've got nothing to do now till I serve your tea at 4.30. Yes? Well, you see, my lord, I feel the most terrible waste of money. I don't really think you should have a butler at all. Oh. Yes, I don't mean to be impertinent. What do you mean to be, then? Well, you see, my lord, you're not contemporary. Uh, what does that mean? You're, you're not modern. You mean I'm an antique? <laughs> no, my lord. You're, you're traditional. Ever since your family first lived in this house, they've always had butlers. But nowadays you don't need one. Don't you see that, my lord? There's nothing for me to do. Really, there isn't. But I... Well, I... What, Sellers? Well, I should feel much happier if you'd either get rid of me altogether or reduce my wages by three pounds a week. Now, what you're saying, in effect, is that I'm old-fashioned, out of date, and clinging to a way of life that's had dry rot in it for years. No, no, I didn't say that. Now, you're quite wrong. This house and these lands may be mine in title, but I regard them as a small part of England that I hold in trust. In trust not only for my son, but for the future. Oh, that can't be right, can it? And I'm preserving things in the most commercial way possible. The farm pays, the market garden pays, the hens pay, and uh, even the souvenirs pay. Yes, I do see all that, my lord. And the reason I employ you is because I'm well aware that the paying public who parade through this house at two shillings and sixpence a head, one half crown, are far more thrilled by catching a glimpse of a real live butler than they are by the uh, Rembrandt at the top of the staircase. So you see, I am, in fact, extremely modern, and very businesslike. And to prove it to you, I'll accept your offer and reduce your wages by three pounds a week beginning Monday. Oh, here's the change for today, Mrs. Oh, Miller. thank you. Half crown, two shillings, shilling. Oh, Sellers, and would you take the mushrooms to the station this Is afternoon? I'll have them packed by four. There you go, Miller. Darling, I've got your coffee. Oh, good. Sellers, how many half crowns are there in three pounds? About a bus load, my lord. I was just wondering. What, my love? Do you think if I was terribly clever with Sellers, I could get him to give the children their lessons? Give the children their lessons? Mm -hmm. Are you out of your mind? No, oh, only from 9.30 to 12. Oh, he's a butler, not a governess. Yes, but it would mean we needn't have a governess. Mm -hmm. I can manage perfectly well. It's simply a question of their lessons. Mm -hmm. You mean get rid of Miss Matthews? Yes. Do you know something? Now what? I wish to make a statement. <laughs> what is it? I adore you. Oh, do you, darling? I'm so glad. Why, that's the most marvelous idea you've had in your life. <laughs> we'll have to give him a little something extra, I suppose. We'll give him three pounds a week extra. Then you approve? Ooh, if we got rid of Miss Matthews and sold the television, we'd return to a civilized way of life. What a pity we can't sell Miss Matthews. <laughs> but do you think Sellers would do it? Oh, he will if the children and I work on him right. Oh, he's bound to do it. Darling, I'm afraid I want to work on you, too. Mm, don't like you to warn me, but work on me. Oh, you're so good to me. What are you reading? Well, I wanted to look something up. What? Henley. Why? Well, if you look out of that window, you'll know why. I always feel like reading it at this time of the year. Now, hmm. listen. And it's all the wild spring wait, 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 and... Is this going to take long? No, 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 it's very short. And it's all the wild spring and his chances and dreams. There's a lift in the blood. Oh, this gracious and thirsting and aching unrest. All life's at the bud, and my heart, full of April, is breaking my breast. Well, it's May the 9th. At least that's what I'm going to write on your check. Who said anything about a check?